Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Slay the Spire where we are playing as the Ironclad today. Um, we are doing extension mode because we need to. <laughs> because we lost everything when we went from normal Slay the Spire to beta. So without further ado, let's jump into it. We're going to be playing as the Ironclad, as I said. Um, extension mode level 2, nothing too serious. We just finished extension mode 1, the other enemies in the next comes around HP. That's always just fun, so let's take it. I'm not going to look. I'm going to try, but I don't think it's going to be possible. Uh, that's possible. That's possible. Let's try if we can maybe get a free lead kill here. I love uh, now Lament. It's great. It's awesome. It uh, has a weird, like, I almost want to say history to it, like, um, story behind it. Because now we, we know that now is the whale. And we know that uh, we are, like, on a quest for the for now, 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 so that um, to do something. Which I'm not entirely sure what. You can't take corruption if you don't know if you're gonna get the uh what's gonna call it. So I'm not gonna do it right now. Now we can think because now it doesn't matter because now uh, now element is done. So how did I lose HP? Oh I know. I uh, cleave, cleave scrap. So now we need to decide. We either wanna go yeah, I'll go with question marks. Question marks are fun. I like question Ooh, nice cleave time. We get cleave, I'll be a happy man. We do not get cleave. I'll use a gambler's brew to find cleave. We got clear. Sign a clap. Clear. Uh, murder. Fine. We'll take seven. We'll heal six. We'll heal. We'll take one in total. Anyway, so then there are these like weird dudes. I don't know who they are, what their deal is, but all we know is they're weird and they offer us like some type of demonic power or something which like changes us and gives well, we lose half our HP guys which is not really what I care about at all but I'm just like using it as an example right now um, which kind of is like a situation of we like now and them are fighting like the way we thought the whale was I thought the whale was the bad guy but apparently like these like weird shade demon guys might be the bad guy and they like I'm trying to climb the tower to save people something I don't, i'm not entirely sure all i know wow i actually thought you were dead but now i'm just gonna take a lot of damage all i know is that like they are not happy with each other now and these ancient apparition things are not happy with each other. um so we are climbing the tower to slay the tire of a form now from is it meow let's say meow because then we say like cat meow like meow's the man um which is very weird with me whatever but who cares and um yeah so what we are attempting to do is climb this tower and Eventually what I assume is kill his apparitions, but that's that's I think for like that's for when beta is over type situations You know once we have gone to the new game and seen new things and stuff I'm attacking in a very bad fashion and of course it's causing me to take a trillion damage But whatever this is the first floor we heal to full because we're still on a not too heavily difficult area of the uh, um, Ascension mode so we can play a little bit loose here a little bit loosey here than normal. That's a horrible um, it's a very very horrible relic to get. It's not that it's bad. It's pretty good, especially if you like fight like um, who's that person? The Hexagos. It's really good against the Hexagos because it um, it allows you to possibly have enough block, or enough cards to like set up powery type situations where you could. I'm just tanking all the damage in this run. Apparently, I don't give a fuck. It would seem. I just don't know what blocks are or how to use them. We do need a damage card at some point. Right now we have no damage in our deck and that is of course becoming a massive problem. We were weak and I didn't even see that. Um, so we do need to add some. There we go. Heavy blade, some damage. We don't have strength ups right now. Um, I will go to the bond fight to rest up. I would love to upgrade cards at this point. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just going to rest up. It's fine. We got two upgrades. I'm going to take those as we got two free upgrades. And those two free upgrades are what's going to pay for the um, rest of the run. So we want to do two more elites if possible. Like I said, first floor is never anything to super fear. So I usually do go more aggressive on it, but um, we, are, we don't have anything going. Our deck is doing nothing right now. We have no strat, we have no synergy, we got nothing, okay? If this was a scale of one to what do you have, we have absolutely nothing. That was probably played, yeah, that was definitely, definitely played incorrect. Like, I can guarantee that what we should have done, we should have was bashed him into striking to have, make him have less HP. Mistakes were made. Um, as they say. So I would love to... Actually, you know what? He is only attacking for 10. I don't think I need to worry too much about... Um, 
not taking damage or like trying to get like vulnerable into cleave to get a very fast kill and i think we can just like we can tank it these guys usually spend most of their time um debuffing me anyway so it shouldn't be too hard but once again like i was saying our deck has no personality right now it doesn't do anything right now it's just a deck it just shows up it kills some people it moves on with his life you know what i'm saying it doesn't really do anything whirlwind shrug it off i'll take a shrug it off whirlwind's great don't get me wrong i like whirlwind and i love what whirlwind can do but right now i feel like shrug it off is going to do slightly more for me and because of that i'm going to go for it so having eight block is nice it's pretty much shrug it off is just strictly better version than defense but actually, you probably want to start removing defense from deck as soon as possible. Unless they get upgraded. If they get upgraded, of course, we will definitely want to upgrade. Obviously, use Bash into the strike. It will do more damage in the long run. We're gonna, we can't attack next turn, though. So we're going to want to block as much as possible. Which is one. We can block once at least to shrug it off. Maybe twice to shrug it off gives us a block card. Then we can definitely block twice. So we didn't get to kill him and the uh, vulnerables run out. But if two normal strikes kill him, and we have upgraded strikes in our deck. So he's pretty much dead next turn, I'm pretty sure. But uh, we will make sure he's dead by playing carefully. Pop, 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 pop. What do you got for me? Spot weakness, carnage. Spot weakness is exactly what we need because we have heavy strike in the deck. And um, it will allow us to get some form of power boost. Just don't give it to me opening hand and we are Gucci. Um, I'm going to use drink potion in case we get the bash. We didn't get bash. So we're just going to go for a heavy strike into a normal strike. And then our turn. So big damage coming in, not much we can do about it, so we'll just keep going from the attacks. Attack like crazy and pray is pretty much what our strat is. We're gonna hit us for 14. He's not a, it's not a um, debuff hit, it's a normal hit, so that's great. In fact, we only get hit for 14 on normal hits, good, because now we're gonna get the debuff hit, which I knew was gonna happen. This does 9, this does 8, so use the 9 and turn. He'll die next turn, pretty much guaranteed. We just need to draw one attack. Mm, two attacks. We need to draw two attacks, and we have like a 50% chance. Okay, so this. This should kill you. This will definitely kill you. Okay. Nice. I wasn't sure. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was a little worried. Uh, Metallicize. I haven't had taken a Metallicize deck in a while, so let's do it. Let's do it. Metallicize is just very nice. Uh, I'll take the thing and I'll lose 6 HP. I'll get injured. It's fine. Injury is not a curse that I care about too much. Plus, Duvido and me, we've come to an understanding. We know each other now, you know? We've, we've been through some shit, you know? Times were tough for us and all that crap, and but we both have worked through it, and I'd like to perfect. Actually, wait, this isn't a daily. I don't care about perfecting. So, what am I saying? This is ascension mode, baby. This is all about survival. This is survival of the fittest now, baby. Um, So, we're going to double strike you. We'll block once, I guess, just to mitigate some damage. Mitigating some damage is better than not mitigating damage because right now if we can just mitigate damage long enough to kill one off. And with the two struggles of our deck, we could possibly viably find a way to get through without actually taking damage. So we're going to use the strength up here. We're going to use the normal strike here. And we're going to use one block to mitigate damage, baby. It's all about the damage mitigation. So this one will die next turn. So as long as we get one block, we uh, basically every time we draw a single block, we will not take... So we shouldn't take any more damage, basically. For the rest of this fight, we shouldn't take any more damage. Shrug it off. Um, this will kill and do more damage to other things. So I'm going to do it instead of using the heavy blade. Because we want to kill one anyway. And what the cleave allows us is to get damage on the black guys. Where heavy blade would just kill one. And we would actually get no damage on the black guys. So that was the black, uh, the back guys. So that was actually the perfect hand for us. Uh, 11 plus 12. You are dead. Okay. Regardless of if I had uh, used the bash. He was dead regardless. So like I said. So pretty much we shouldn't take any more damage on this fight. And we're just going to use the band here. As long as we draw one defender turn, baby. One defender turn, we good. No more damage will be taken. We'll be on half HP when we get to the boss. This heals us for additional 15 plus our 20%. So that's like uh, 20 plus like 30 damage. So we're fine. We're absolutely fine. We're going to heal for like 30. We're going to be like 70 when we fight the final boss. Uneasy top and snake oil. Um, Infernal Blade, I love me some Infernal Blade. Rage is growing on me, but I'm thinking Infernal Blade. Me and Infernal Blade, we have understanding. I have to rest, unfortunately, because I can't use said Infernal Blade, but that's life. I guess. Hmm. Well, you start with Infernal Blade. That's the worst possible thing we could have got from Infernal Blade right now. Just want to point that out right now. I'm going to use it. It's fine. Because I want to. I'm going to use the Dex Potion too. Yeah. I'm going to end my turn. That was the worst Infernal Blade. 
there was a list of like a thousand different infernal blade options they could give me and they were like you know what? what's the worst one you can think of and they gave me that one these mother peepers so i don't care about God perfect in this garden i just want to win so bashing him and taking damage here amen sign me up baby i'm all about that life I'm all about getting these vulnerable counters to start stacking and uh, just doing as much damage as I can. Getting a spot to weakness every now and then. Just is going to be extra icing on top of the cake. I mean, Heavy Blade can come in at the end to, to kick some ass. And we, I don't see us dying to this Garden. Like, honestly. Ascension Mode or no, I just don't see us dying to Garden. Especially if we can just go like 18, 16, 8, 13. And he cannot attack again. So another spot weakness shows up. We're pretty much... Two heavy strikes away from killing us, good sir. Easy fight, easy, easy fight. So we'd like to bash, but we can't. I think, unfortunately, this is the time to bash and not heavy strike. As much as heavy strike is good, having that vulnerable means two turns of doing extra damage instead of just doing one big amount of damage on one turn. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I will use. No, actually, not. I will use struggle off here because I don't trust myself, my own luck. I don't trust my own luck enough to gamble him attacking for 20 something next turn and I'm not having enough HP to tank it. In case I get unlucky, it could happen, it could happen. So this is exactly what I was worried about, Heavy Blade without Vulnerable, because it doesn't do enough. And this is what I meant, look now, look at my HP, look what he's doing. I could have died if I tanked too much damage earlier. So who knows, you know, this was close. This wasn't as easy as we were led to believe, as they say, it was difficult. But now that he's in defensive form with three turns of vulnerable, it's guaranteed. But are we gonna get up to full? Ascension mode, like higher ascension mode le levels. I don't know what they are like, like mm, ten ish, I guess. They're very hard because you don't heal up after every boss, which is super scary. I mean, that is ridiculous. Uh, Choke and me, we have we have a bad relationship. I'm gonna do it, even though I've got offering. I've only got one offering, so I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the me that grows and tries things that I would like I would never try. So one one, two two. So this is gonna the three lead pass. So we wanna take that pass. So we're gonna take the one with the most question marks and the um, shop because shops are great. Uh, Cleave is huge. Bash is huge, and the strike up. Enter. We're gonna take six damage, but I don't care. I don't care about 6 damage. Had I had one scales, you guys would be fucking dead right now. But I didn't get it. You are very, very fortunate. Wow! That's some dirty shit right there, game. That is some of that dirty shit that I do not approve of, okay? I do not approve of your dirty shit. At all. At all, okay? That was some bullshit, and you know it. So they are vulnerable. Well, only vulnerable for one turn, but we minimized a lot of the damage we took on this fight. Took a lot of damage on this fight, don't get me wrong, but we're minimizing. We are minimizing. We are in, at the moment, we are in the zone of damage minimization. That's what we're after. I just want to get a, let them do as minimum damage to me as they can. So we've only got two more cards left, so one, two, three, and. Well, he's already on the ground. Boom! He's on the ground too, and my end turns, and I still have two energy left, but that's fine. Father Choker, you are a motherfucker. You are really a motherfucker. You really like you one of these situations where I was like, mmm. Baba Choker feels good, baby. It feels good. And then when you actually do it, you're like, mmm. No, I kinda regret taking it now. And I do it every time. I do it every time. Like let's be honest with each other, I do it every time. But I can't help it. You see like extra energy for a restriction that doesn't really usually affect you. How do you say oh my goodness? That poor soul. You don't even know what just happened to you, do you? You don't, he doesn't even understand. He was like, I just got bludgeoned, heavy strike, and strike. What is this insane damage that these people are doing? Well, let me tell you, good sir. This insane damage that I'm doing is you are dead damage. You are not going to even die to this? Are you serious right now, game? Are you serious right now, game? That's some bullshit. He's on 2 HP. 2. 2. I took damage because he's on 2. Why were you on 2? Die. That's what you get. I should get mother effer. Okay. Um, none of these. None of those. I don't like Havoc. I, I mean, Havoc's not bad. It's just, it's only good in like... Nope. It's, it's good in very situational decks, I find. Uh, didn't I want to go to that Elite? I thought I wanted to go to Elite. Wait. I wanted to go... I know for a fact... Wait. I know for a fact I wanted to go to Elite. 
There we go. I knew I was gonna draw Thunderclap there, and I knew it would do more damage in the long run, and that's why I went for that exact play. You guys might be like, don't talk shit. You got lucky. No, 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 no. I was calculated in my play. I was like, you know what's going to happen? And everyone's like, no, we don't know what's going to happen. And I'm like, well, let me tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to draw Thunderclap off the one card draw in my deck so I can do more damage on the first turn. And everyone's like, no, I don't, I don't believe it for one second. I was like, you got to believe it. You're going to believe it. Wow, that's unfortunate. I mean, we're going to use it anyway because it's damaged, but... Oh, crap. Uh, I hate you. I hate you, Snake. I hate you. Especially since you're stronger because of a stage in my level 2. Uh, but to weaken this so use it, use it, and use it. Okay, he got fucked. Which is all that matters in the long run, if you guys have been honest with each other. Uh, let's take hit button and move on. Shop. Yeah. Shop. What you got for me? Molten Egg. It's, you don't even think. You see Molten Egg, you don't think. I'll take another Metallicus. Why not? Remove a card from the deck. Fuck off uh, injury. Let's go. Beautiful. Perfect. That's like how Ascension Mode was meant to be. Okay, now we missed an Elite. So we need to check what the fuck we're doing. Okay, we are going in the right route. For three Elites. And there's a secondary shop, which is nice. Uh, we can smith something here. Or we can heal. I have a heal potion, so I'm kind of confident. So I'm going to go for a smith. Maybe a little bit of a... A little bit of a danger play here. A little. Just a little bit of a danger play. Not a lot. Not a lot of a danger play. Just a little bit of a danger play. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew like I was going to get the exact right hands. I knew it. I knew the game wouldn't do me dirty. The game did me so dirty. I regret everything on my whole life. Oh! Six cards. Six card limit problem. I get it. I get it. I understand. Oh, and easing top and Valve Choker are 100% anti-synergistic. I am actually a retard. Okay. So, yeah. I just realized, luckily, too late, might I add, that uh, the, uh, there's no synergy. There's no synergy with them. They are very anti-synergistic. You know why they're anti-synergistic? Because he's an easy top lets me draw cards and play them forever, while Valve Choker restricts my amount of cards I can play. Very anti-synergistic. Don't do this at home, kids. That's what I'm saying. Or you obviously go for a defend, and you go for an anger play, because it's free. You go for a strike play, and you go for a heavy blade play. Or defend. You put, you got you got to out-damage race here, right? Right? Are we going to die to this elite? We might die to this elite, guys. It's scary, but it's a fact. And it's a fact we need to accept. We might just straight up die to this elite. Spot weakness finally shut up. It's one of those like, oh, you shut up, but it's so late and we've lost the run already, but it's fine. Um, metallicize. Um, spot weakness again. Shrug it off. And now let's look at what we got. We have one play left. We should one play the this to bring back the shrug it off. Okay, so as we draw... If we draw Heavy Blade, we will live. If we do not draw Heavy Blade, we will actually just die. That is the situation we find ourselves in. We luckily drew Heavy Blade, but it's actually not enough. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? He's going to live. He's going to live, and we're going to die. Hmm. We are dead. Okay. We just died, I'm pretty sure. 24 damage, we have 26. No, we have 2 HP! Fuck you, game! I got 2 HP, I ain't going down. I believe in 2. I believe 2 is more than enough to win the run with, okay? If you guys have any doubt, you are incorrect. Pommel strike me, baby. 2 HP is more than enough. More than enough, especially if we take Juzu. Ooh, bandage up could be good. Let's take Juzu, though. Juzu is my bae, my bae. Me and Juzu, we've seen some things. I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, not fight 3 leads in this run. I only fight 2 leads in this run because I got screwed. On the RNG. We're on 8 HP though, let's be honest. We have 8 a whole we have 8 whole HP to work with. That's a lot of fucking HP, okay? You might not think so. You might look at him and be like, oh I don't mean to be that guy, but you know things are looking pretty tough for you right now, good sir. And I'm like, well, you might think so, but what you don't understand is I've got eight entire HP to work with. This doesn't sound like a lot of HP. Lots of people might not think it's a lot of HP. I think it's a lot of HP, okay? You know what I can do with eight HP? I could probably win this run. There's like an 18% chance I win this run. I'm not even kidding. Boom, boom, boom. Shrug it off. We need to go for all the defensive cards now. Infernal Blade. We can't, if we play Infernal Blade, we will not be able to actually use it. Which is stupid. So we should just go for damage. as much. We must just try and do as much damage as we can. So we can possibly one-shot him next time. Yeah, yeah. Don't attack. But debuff me. You motherfucker. Why did you attack? What have you got going for us? 17 damage. 9 damage. 
drink this and play this. Okay. We are not dead yet. We are not dead yet, bitch. We ain't gonna die. I'm not allowing myself to die here. I refuse. I still have two HP game. Are we just dead? Are you actually kidding me? You did me dirty. You gave me no attacks. You gave me literally zero attacks. You gave me literally zero attacks. You gave me four defensive cards when I needed one attack probably to win. I guess we died. That's it. That's essentially I'm gonna immediately jump into another one because that was some bullshit. That was some absolute bullshit. That was bullshit. They gave me no attacks. Not one attack. Come on. That's some bull crap, you know. Just give me a uh, obtain a curse. Yeah, I'll take a curse for it. Ooh, corruption deck. Let's go. Corruption deck. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Do 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 it. Do it. That's one. That's this has got a lot of elites on this floor. Holy shit! On a stick with a chicken and a lots of other weird words. Um, let's do this and um, let's hope that we don't do as bad this round. Mathematically speaking, we should do better because. I've got like a 25% win rate in Slayer Spy, which I'm very proud of by the way. I think it's the greatest uh, win rate ever made in the history of life, which means if I've got a 25% win rate, that means one out of every four games I win. And if we just lost the game, that means I have a one out of three chance of winning a game. Okay, and a one out of three chance of winning the game implies, to me at least, that we have a one out of three chance of winning the game. Um, let's take Combust. Maybe we see a Combust rupture situation. A rupture for me, baby. Oh, you got Mind Blast now. Corruption! Okay, now we just want exhausting. We want to buy every single card that exhausts and pick up every single card that exhausts and pick up every single skill card we see. We have the corruption deck. The corruption deck has happened. It has happened. And we now have a chance at being the greatest gamers there ever was. Ever. I know you guys might be thinking, really? The greatest gamers that have ever was? I don't know about that. That sounds a little bit like you over exaggerating your own skill. Well, let me tell you, I'm not. We have way too little cards to use as corruption right now. But I'm going to pray that Dead Branch carries us. I believe Dead Branch will carry us. Dead Branch, you were my first fucking item. I got you. And I got corruption. In the same effing go, I believe. I believe. I believe in a thing called love. And the fact that I got corruption. Play Combust and then play Warcry. And get corruption. We did not get corruption, so we're going to play to the fans. Play another fan. Use this. That was great. That reckless charge was amazing for us. So we have a corruption deck, which is good. You know why it's good? I'll tell you why it's good. Because you guys don't even understand why it's good. But I'll tell you why it's good. Because A. That was the wrong play. A. Every single time cards exhaust, which is going to happen a lot, we're going to get new stuff. What cards exhaust? Skill cards. So what do we need to add to deck? Skill cards. So you got skill card, fuck off. Give me exhume, use exhume. Go get uh Warcry, use Warcry. Warcry gets exhausted. Let's get rid um put Bludgeon on top of the deck. Then we want to go for a little bit of a uh, defense situation. Go for another one of the defense situation. Go for a uh one of these. One of these. Go for one of these. And next time we're going to draw Bludgeon, he's actually just going to die. So we won this Lug of Ruin fight already, which is exciting. You know what's the best part? We've won it, and we know we've won it. We don't even have to think about winning it. We've just we've done it. It's happened. Look, look, it's done. Bam. I knew it was one. I didn't even have to think about it. I just knew. I'm always great. Two curses for free. Uh, give me a Havoc, because it exhausts stuff, and we want to exhaust stuff. You don't want to exhaust... Oh, wait, no, wait. It's actually impossible. I was going to say, we don't want to exhaust corruption, but I realized... You know what's cool? It's literally impossible to exhaust corruption. Um, let's just rest. We don't need to upgrade stuff. We have corruption. Like, we, once you get a corruption deck, you don't need to ever upgrade again. Ever. Tiny chest sucks. It's gone. Elite, bitch. I don't care. Except, I do care because you are the worst person to use a corruption deck against. Absolutely the worst. There was ever a time to not use corruption that was against you. Uh, I'll do it in case I get a 3 cost card. I got... Carnage. And Carnage will exhaust. Give me 2 strikes. Do, 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 do. So now all we need is a way to play cards for free. Pretty much. Mummified Hand is good. We should use Havoc. Okay. That did not work as I planned. We should use a Combat. We should use a Defend. Here's Carnage. 
Um, use the carnage. Use the pose help for free card. Playing very perfect. Let's go. Barricade. Oh, barricade would have been great, actually. Barricade means we would have literally taken no damage from this boss. Um, or this from this monster. He's got 10 strength buff, which is obviously a massive problem. Just FYI, in case you guys didn't realize. It's huge. 27. How is that even remotely balanced? Okay. I can double tap it. Double tap pommel, no. Double tap bash. He's pommel strike. He survived. So we're taking 30. That's okay. I'm okay with it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm fine with taking 30. 30 doesn't phase me. What the fuck? 30 damage? How is that even remotely balanced? Anyway. That's okay. Vigor pill is huge. Battle chance is huge. Remember, we want to add skills. As many skills as we can add, we want to add. You know why? I'll tell you why. I don't even mind. I'm a generous kind of guy. What can I say? I don't mind telling you why. We're adding skills because skills give us stuff to send to the corruption gods. So we pretty much want to add every card we see to the deck. This is pretty much like a mind loss right now. You just add every card to the deck because no matter what you add, you're going to win. Okay? You're going to win. This is how it is. You need to accept that. Life sucks sometimes. But we actually do not have corruption yet. I just realized. Okay? So let's iron away this motherfucker. And turn. Bam. Bam. Okay. Boom. I think we gained one actual HP in that whole fight. Um, Cleave's good. I'll take it. Are we going to fight a secondary, a third elite? I mean, if we do, we'll, if we die against it, it'll be a very quick daily. Which, oh, not a daily. It's not even a daily. You see, dailies have got my mind. Dailies have got my mind floating in a world it shouldn't be. How do you make a corruption deck work? You have to get corruption in every single opening hand. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Unfortunately, the world is not that kind, and you do not just get corruptions in every single opening hand. It doesn't happen. It happens occasionally. Oh, he's actually attacking. I did not see you attacking. I thought you were buffing. Usually, buff after your first attack. Well, I took a lot of damage unnecessarily. That sucks. Bam. Thank you. And we did lose HP. We lost like 4 HP. Um, take Rage. Rage is good. Uh, elite. 32 HP Elite. Let's go. Let's go. What's the worst thing that happens? Wheel game over? Yeah, that's the worst thing that happens. Do -do -do. You use Rage, you use Combast, you use uh, Havoc, you use Warcry, put Pain on top of the deck, draws me some stuff, we use this. That did not. Oh, we don't have we don't have uh, Corruption yet. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I'm an actual idiot. We do not have Corruption. We do not have Corruption. Just repeat up to me. We do not have Corruption. If you do not have Corruption, the Corruption strat doesn't work. If you do not have corruption, corruption strat. I can't play these cards. I'm gonna take 1, 2, 10, 18, 19. I will die next turn if I do this. I cannot play any of these cards. So, this is gonna be the shortest run in the history of life, which is sucky for all of us. But uh, it's what we got. It's what we got to deal with, and that's just how it is. So, we have two turns to kill these. All, by the way, all of them must die in the next two turns. Well, there's corruption, which is great. Now we can finally start attempting to pull back this run. Double tap. Let's go. Boomerang. Let's go. That did not play out how I planned at all. Exhume. Bring me back uh, the fan. Use the fan. Use the fan. Use Exhume. Bring me back uh, the fan. Use the fan. Use Seeing Red. Use Havoc. Use the fan. Use Anger. Use, uh... Searing Blow. And turn. Okay, so, we have exactly one turn <laughs> to kill this good sir, or we die. One turn. To kill this good sir, or we are dead. Absolutely just dead. And it's over. Okay, so we we have two HP. This is not going well. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna point this out right now. You guys might be like, mm, this guy's gonna die again, and you might be right, especially since we're fighting a slave. And the slaves are actually scary. Ooh, nice. We can go corruption. We can go purity. We can get rid of all these shit, which is great for us. We can then use the fan. We can use flex. We can even use uh, exhume to bring back uh, flex. Play flex. Play limit break. Uh, play dark pack. Discard this. Discard the juggernaut. Nice. 
Use uh, Flame Barrier because it's free. Use War Cry. Get rid of the uh, Fire Breathing. Use the Fat. Your fish is taking no damage. Use Reckless Strike there. Um, use Battle Trots. Use Havoc. Use Impervious. Uh, we need. To, we don't have any more skills to play, so we use strike for seventeen. That's over. Okay, and that's a corruption deck for you, baby. That's what's supposed to happen. Uh, we don't want to add tax to the deck, though. That's the problem because we can We can never use them. We have to rest. We have no choice in the matter. <laughs> got in. Let's go. Okay, a corruption opening hand. We can win. No corruption opening hand. We're gonna have a hard time. I'm gonna go for a very like weird play here, and I'm gonna use transmutation. I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna use finesse. Use swift strike. And Emma turn. Okay, that did not plan out like I was hoping. We got only attacks from transmutation. I was kind of hoping for skills to shop. But we should win this. I don't see us losing this. I suddenly see us losing this. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. I, before I was like, we're not gonna lose this. But now I'm like, eh, we could lose this. This is plausible. It's definitely plausible. 32 fucking are you serious right now, game? How about no? How about 24? It's been way better. Way better amount of damage. Corruption, I need you to show up to save my game or I will lose and this will be sad. Corruption! Sentinel! Give me that energy, baby. Have up. Bash! Second win. Oh, we exhausted the. Uh, what's it Second win again! Uh, palm will strike. But a chance. Let's go for a uh, burning pack. Get rid of one of the palm strikes. In flame. We can't play. I'm kind of hoping now for just like any of the energy cards, but I don't think I'm gonna come. So I'm gonna choose to end the game here while we still have a couple of skills left in the deck. Because what can happen with the corruption deck, and I've seen it happen, and it sucks, is you can l just leave s attacks in your deck, and then you have zero. Um, skills left and then when you need to play the skills later on you don't have any skills and you lose and you're like mm, that did not work out as planned that's what i'm saying okay so you obviously use this and you use this and that's fine i'm a little bit worried right? a little bit worried not a lot worried i just want this to be clear not a lot worried a little bit worried i forgot that there's a little there's a little thing that I always i i make them a little mistake of Kind of forgetting, and that's the fact that uh, strike decks are very, they have a very specific logic behind them, which you need to keep in mind at all times. And that logic is that they, um, they need certain things to work. We only have four engines, we need to keep in mind that we only have four engines. Oh, wait, we are dead if we keep attacking. We are just dead if we keep attacking. We should stop attacking. Because we were actually just dead. Because <laughs> I was kind of forgetting that he's going to hit for 16. So we didn't kill him. We were dead. Yeah. I told you. I fucking told you. I looked at it and I was like, oh my goodness. I'm fucking up. Fucking up big time. So you clash first. You then use... I mean, you've got to use Pommel Strike because it's going to do the most fucking damage. You strike it off. Because it's amazing. You use uh, Immolate. Okay. We won. And I wasn't worried for a second. You guys were worried. I could tell. I could tell. Um, double tap skill, it does something good, it's great, it's corruption -y. let's go. Uh, Pandora's box from Swarm Strikes event, hell yeah! Let's go! You only gave me attacks. Okay, so you gave me two skills and you gave me a rest of attacks, which I kind of think is unfair, personally. I'd like to speak to someone about this bullshit. It's kind of some bullshit, but it's okay. Um, you know, we don't have to fight as many elites, so let's get our butts to the shop. We'll try and get our butts to the shop. This is essential mode, guys, we need to win this essential mode. So we need to play very serious. Do not get corruption opening hand, which is unfortunate. Bam. 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 And bam. And I'm not gonna play Planet Armor because Planet Armor is actually just gonna insta die. I'm not even kidding. Planet Armor, we'll play it and it will literally disappear on the first enemy. And what's the point? Mmm, it would have disappeared on the second enemy. That's a lot of damage on turn one, guys. I'm just saying. That's some bullshit corruption. Walk right. 
I'm assuming we're going to start letting... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, but heavy blade on. I'm assuming we're going to start letting things happen. Telesass. Okay, uh, true good. Bloodletting. Exhume. Bloodletting. Blood for blood. Uh, Banatrons. I would really, really much like to get rid of this pain card at some point, if possible. How we go? Battle Trance. Uh, Havoc. Dark Embrace. Uh, too good. Use uh, Entrench. Use Entrench. Use Disarm. We did no damage and we took like 80 fucking damage from pain because pain we just couldn't get rid of. We got enough block to not take damage, but the point is we did no damage either. And we took like 80 damage from pain. This is like a 50 damage first, first fucking first fight. Oh, this is really bad, guys. This corruption deck is not working as I had planned. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a, I'm a man on my words, so I'll tell you, honestly. This corruption deck is not working like I thought it would. I had much higher hopes for this, good sir, of a corruption deck. Much higher hopes, I tell you. Much higher hopes. It's like, I believed in you. I believed in your corruption deck, and you let me down. You let me down. Uh, skill. Flex. Let's go. I'm a bit worried about this run now, even though it is a corruption deck, and usually corruption deck are very strong. We don't have any synergies with the corruption deck. Ooh, except for the magnetize. Magnetize is great. We should probably just block here to minimize some of the damage. Magnetize is great because it gives me a card in my every opening hand, which could be a skill card, which means corruption could work with it. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Wait, I haven't played corruption yet. Oh, that's just. Okay. I'm an idiot. Look, let's all be honest with each other. I knew it. You knew it. The entire world knew it. So. Let's play double tap and then place Twin Strike. Because Twin Strike could actually get through his uh, played armor. And that means we can get rid of some of his armor. And then we can blood for blood for a lot of damage because pain fucked us. That's good. He's weakened like a mother ever. Okay, we need bottle tornado so we can put fucking corruption on opening hand. Because if corruption on opening hand, we're actually in a little bit of trouble. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. There's corruption. Okay, so what do you want to give it up? Probably war uh, carnage, right? And we want to play corruption. Finally, it took you long enough. Play Sentinel. Play this. Play uh, Fiend Fire. Fiend Fire and corruption are like. Our lovers, lovers on a beach. If you have human fire, you have corruption. You have a lovers on a beach, and you go to go almonds. Let's go. No, I went the wrong way. I just looked at the elite, and I went to the route that the elite, and it was the wrong way. I made a critical error. Critical errors were made. I made critical errors. Game. Ah. Oh. Will you guys ever forgive me for said critical errors that I made? I don't think so. I don't see it happening. It doesn't matter. As long as we get corruption, all skill cards are free regardless of whether we get anything else. So, I don't care. Give me a lot of energy. Give me a lot of that. Give me one of these. Give me one of, give me one of these. Give me this. Give me this. Give me uh, one of these. Look, I didn't even need to put. I can just push random stuff right now, and this guy's still gonna die. So, I mean, I didn't even use any energy, and he still died. See, corruption decks can work, you just need the right stuff, and by the right stuff, you need to shrug it off, baby. Okay, so we gotta go. F I'm gonna go for the two elite room now because I took the path. So, you know, if you take the path, pay the price. Upgrade, remove all strikes and fence. I don't have any strikes or the fence, motherfuckers. Okay, so we can remove a coffin deck. Let's remove this pain. It's become a pain in my ass. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, hello, scary motherfuckers. Corruption opening hand. Corruption opening hand. Corruption opening hand. Just want to point out that none of those, just in case you were not aware, game, none of those. If we exhaust Sentinel with True Grit, we will get the world's greatest play. It did not work. Okay. We got Seeing Red though, so it's kind of worth it. We got Armaments. I've got Transmit. I don't know what it does. That. Do it. Purity. Purity is great. Look at this, look at the watch this purity play. Bam, bam, bam. We need energy back. I'm the world's greatest gamer there ever was. I can't play the corruption though, but I'm still the world's greatest gamer there ever was. No game out there is as good as me. Except like apparently 1990 something people, because that's what I placed today in today's daily. Uh, I was very upset. I cried inside. 
I don't want to tell anyone I was embarrassed, but the fact of the matter is I do cry inside. Exhume. What does Exhume even get me? Mm. It gave me a Havoc. Do I want to play Havoc for free? Or do I want to get a lot of energy? Uh, well, not a lot of energy. One energy. How much? We have one energy right now. Whatever in hand. We can't play Jack shit in hand. Get a Havoc. You know why I'm going to get Havoc? I'll tell you. Because if I play Havoc and I get something else to shop that I was hoping would be good. I would have been a happy man. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. So instead, all that's going to happen is I'm going to take a lot of damage. Drink a region potion time, baby. 19 incoming damage because corruption refuses to show up in our opening hand. I don't know why. It, it will not show up in our first or second hand. It always waits to the third or fourth hand. Third or fourth hand. Fifth hand even. Guaranteed. Garen, motherfucking T. Okay. Carnage is bitch. It's done. We should have used Rage before we used Carnage anyway because it was just free. That's okay. We fucked up. Corruption. Let me explain to you on this thing. I built my entire deck around you. So if you do not show up, I kind of just lose the run. Okay? You need to understand. This is life or death matters right now. Life or death. Life or fucking death. Okay? If you do not show up, the only person that pays a price here is me. You don't pay a price because you are fine. You are a very happy man. You are living your life. Choose a card upgrade. Upgrade. No. Upgrade. Uh, Ramp and Joe. Because it's free. Seeing red. It's great. Use a double tap. Use a rage. Use blood learning. Use flame bearer. Use a double for rampage. Use true grit. Use life for blood. Use a uh, flame cap. And then eat him! Mmm. Felt good to eat him. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, struggle off, baby. Let's go. Okay. I need corruption to show up on the first turn, or we will just die to this elite. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Corruption me, baby. That wasn't corruption game. Corruption me now. That also wasn't corruption game. I don't understand what the deal is. They refuse to give me corruptions. I want to use cleave, but I know using cleave is bad. Actually, you know what? Mm, using cleave is fine. Doesn't matter. We should use fakes before we use cleave, even though I. Yeah, I could have killed one actually now I think about it. And I would have killed the one that didn't do damage to me, so that was the wrong play, but that's fine. Are we dead? Four times three? No, we're not dead. Not yet, baby. Okay, give me corruption right now or I lose the one. You didn't give me corruption, but you gave me battle chance. Give me battle chance. You still didn't give me corruption. I just want to point this out. Use war cry. Oh, we can't because uh, choose a card to put on top of my draw power. I'll put the havoc on top of the draw power. So we need to shrug it off here or we die. We need to send something or we die. Use head bash to take out this guy. Let's put the battle chance back on top of the deck because I might need it next time. Okay. So corruption doesn't show up, we lose the run. I've un I've figured out the pattern to this run. Corruption is of utmost importance. Problem, we've got like eight card draws in our deck and we never draw corruption. So corruption. Corruption shut up. Okay, so we have a chance now because corruption finally showed up. Very scary, but it showed up. Have up. Good. Oh my goodness, that offering. Oh, I just killed myself up here. Why? Did I paint in my hand? I didn't have pain. I don't know how I died there. I'm a little bit confused. I'm very upset. That whole one, that was the perfect corruption one. We would have won if corruption ever showed up. Corruption waited for the fourth turn in every single second floor fight to show up. Fourth turn. 20 card deck means it has to show up in one or four turns. It showed up on the fourth turn every single room of the run. I mean, come on. That is just fucking RNG fucking with you. It's like you lose a essential run because of RNG. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's stupid actually. But we'll be doing more of this in the future. I'm just a little bit annoyed now because I actually just died due to bad RNG and I hate that. I hate that. I feel that is not a way that one should lose a run. You should never lose a run due to bad RNG. It's just shouldn't be. You should lose a run due to bad play. Had corruption shot up in the first turn on the elite fight, I won. Had corruption shot up on the first turn on the bird fight, I didn't take damage. Had corruption shot up on the first fight before the elite fight, on the first turn or two turns before the elite fight, I won. There's all these little things that would have been so good for the game, I just needed corruption to actually show up. I don't know how I didn't see that offering killed me. I thought offering did 3 damage, I thought I had 4 HP, so... Unless offering does 5 damage, gives you 2 energy and draws you 3 cards. That might be it. 
Then I took five damage and I killed myself. Which is hilarious if you think about it. I actually killed myself in a slave spy game. I'm like, I ain't giving the elite the satisfaction of killing me. I'll kill myself, thank you. Thank you very much. You do not need to come here and kill me, okay? It's not happening. I'll kill myself and we can have this conversation later. Um, but th without further ado, that is the end of this episode of Slay Spy. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. It really helps a lot. We'll be coming back for more Ascension Mode on the Silent in the next episode. Because I'm going to take a break from the Iron because I'm very, very tilted and frustrated with that corruption deck. Which should have been a guaranteed win and it wasn't just due to extreme, extreme bad RNG. But that is the point of the game. Such as MTG and any TCG play game. You shuffle a deck, you get a random draw, sometimes you get good draws. Sometimes you get bad draws. It's part of the planning process and it's part of the building process. And uh, I didn't build it properly. Also, I took the wrong route. I wanted to take the route to the room, because, uh, to the shop, because we had like 900 gold or something stupid. So that would have been huge. And unfortunately, um, I didn't get a chance because I clicked on the wrong button because I have daily meta stuck in my brain. And when I play Space by all I think is daily, 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 daily. And then I see elites and I run towards the elites as soon as possible because I'm like, that is where I want to be. That is where the points are. But not necessarily. Essential mode you don't need. You can fight zero elites in essential mode run. As long as you win the run. It's all that matters. Of course elites do give relics. And relics are important to win. But we had the only relic we cared about. Dead branch and corruption. That's all we needed to synergize. That's all we needed for the victory synergization right there. And any types of energy relic would have been nice. But unfortunately we didn't get it. Anyway, without further ado, that is the end of this episode of Slay the Spy Beta, and I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you on the next one. If you have not subscribed, please be sure to do that, as that helps the channel grow quite a lot and helps a lot of me if I see a lot of subscriptions and grow the community where we all can comment and chat about our favorite games together. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all next time.